This morning, a teenager sharing his harrowing encounter with a bison, this time in North Dakota's Theodore Roosevelt National Park. I was walking on the trail, and then all of a sudden, um, I just kind of got this feeling that something was, like, chasing after me. I didn't know what was happening, and I, like, I kind of just froze in that moment, um, but I kept running. And then he came up behind me, and he got his horn, uh, slashed it through my leg, and then threw me up with his head about six feet into the air. Saturday, a tour snapped this photo of two bison fighting right before the 17-year-old visitor to the park was attacked. We spoke to the teen from the hospital by phone. I didn't do anything to aggravate him like it was all by chance. He says he noticed the herd starting out on a morning hike and was staying a safe distance away when suddenly the bison charged. There was a massive, like at least 50 bison in the field. And they're all just making noises, making weird, like, calls. Last week, a collective gasp was heard across the country when a video went viral showing a nine-year-old girl being flipped in the air by a two-ton bison in Yellowstone. According to the National Park Service, the height of bison mating season also happens to coincide with the busiest tourist months, July and August, another reason to be more cautious because the animals can get more aggressive. And the chances of you out running a bison are slim to none. None. It's impossible to tell what sure. a bison's going to do. I mean, they have those big eyes that go straight out on the sides, and yeah. you can't look in their eyes and see what they're going to do. Fortunately, the teen is expected to make a complete recovery. I'm really lucky, I guess. I'm, I'm lucky to be alive. And his experience serving as a warning to others. A lot of people have the misconception that just because they are in a national park, they're safe from these animals, and they're not. Steve Patterson, NBC News.